Hello, welcome to another Graham and Anne's Great Adventures. Check out that view behind me. We're camping on the Bunda Cliffs on the Nullarbor. This uh, episode is all about crossing the Nullarbor, free camping all the way off grid, and uh, having a look at what it has on offer. Here's a quick look at what's coming up in this episode. We have a spectacular land-based whale watching experience. We free camp on the edge of the Bunda Cliffs. Give some assistance to a broken down Peugeot couple and cross the border into WA. Visit the ruins of the Eucla Telegraph Station. Experience some fantastic campsites across the Nullarbor. The co pilot takes over for the next 146 kilometres. We start this 1500 kilometre journey across the Air Highway at Kimber where we meet all the usual suspects for a photo shoot. The big galah at eight metres is the uh, measuring point of halfway across Australia. We then stop for lunch at the Penang Windmill Museum. Proudly boasting the uh, Australia's biggest windmill. Continuing west, we then hit the treeless plains of the Nullarbor. We then head to one of the best land-based whale watching experiences in Australia, the Head of the Bight. The visitor centre at the Head of the Bight offers a free campsite near their gates. If you're fully self-contained, this is a great location. So first thing in the morning when they open the gates at 8 o'clock, you can head to the visitor centre and get your tickets. Enter the visitor centre, you purchase your entry fee, and that gives you access to the whale viewing platforms during the uh, whale season, May to October. The southern right whales usually start arriving in May and are at their peak between June and July. They're heading close to the cliffs to give birth and raise their newborns. Shallow waters give them protection from sharks which hunt from the deep below for their young. The southern right whales are up to three times the size of the humpbacks that we see on the east coast, so therefore they're not as active. At uh, 80 tonne, they uh, don't leap out of the water. But they are very majestic to see them in so close and uh, all of their young with them. The whales staying so close to the sheltered waters, close into the cliffs, gave Anne a great opportunity to get some uh, good shots on the SLR. The limestone Bunda Cliffs also commence here at the head of the bite. Ranging in height up to 80 metres, it's a real edge of the earth feeling. Stretch across the bike for some 800 kilometres. Heading back across the treeless plains, Shadow was adjusting to life without trees. Ranger at the Visitor Information Centre gave us directions to find a great camp on the edge of the Bunda Cliffs. The track wasn't marked on the highway and we actually missed it. We had to turn around to come back onto it. Always a good idea before you commit to a track that you don't know to uh, stop and get out and walk it, which is exactly what we did here, especially as we were heading towards the edge of the cliff. So from back here, it looked like the track just uh, went off the edge of the cliff. But fortunately, it came round the corner and then down to our camping area. So while I was flying the drone, the co-pilot was doing a pretty good job manoeuvring the caravan to the edge of the world. The view out of our caravan has been absolutely magic up here. A little speck on the cleared area is our uh, caravan and we were about 20 metres back from the edge. And looking at some of that erosion, 
slipped down the bottom there, we uh, certainly were glad we weren't any closer. We spent three days and two nights here with no other camper anywhere in sight. We had this wonderful raised platform for uh, afternoon drinks, good elevated position. Nullarbor might be a treeless plain, but the shrubs are certainly thriving out here. Not only are they thriving, there's some beautiful shapes. It almost looks like they've been manicured by somebody. Some of these plants do bear fruit, uh, and the Aboriginals used to use them for a food source. You can really see the different layers of limestone here. There's a reason why you don't walk too close to the edge. You can see here where uh, recently a part of the cliff has actually collapsed down to the ocean below. If you do want to camp out here, one thing you have to remember before you hit the Nullarbor is collect all your firewood and bring it with you. Back on the air highway again and we thought we'll just top up our fuel so we uh, dropped into the Nullarbor Roadhouse. That's right, $3.19 per litre, the most we've ever paid for fuel. I looked like the robber when I went into the shop, but uh, I felt like I was getting stung. We stop again for some more breathtaking coastline as the air highway comes very close to the Australian bite. Sell my clothes. You can take the shoes I'm in. Go on, take everything. Just stop to have a look at the view here, and uh, these people broken down on the side of the road. They're a Peugeot van. Uh, the alternator's gone on it, and uh, they can't get roadside assistance, so we're going to give them a lift. The Nullarbor is a beautiful drive, but uh, not a great place if you uh, break down. So we're here at Border Town, South Australia WA border. And there's the signs for everywhere. We've just dropped off our passengers. Uh, they're gonna try and get uh, someone to pick them up. And then they've got to get their Peugeot fixed is going to be quite a challenge. After a disaster in uh, the year 2000, the border village was burnt down and had to be completely rebuilt. If you're a golfer, you can actually play the world's longest golf course, the Nullarbor Lynx. In the border village, this is the par three, a fairly narrow uh, fairway to the green. And here we are about to cross into WA after going through the checkpoint. This is the remains of the uh, telegraph station at Eucla. It certainly deteriorated since we were here last. It's a real shame that people come in here and deface our history, feeling the need to write their names on it. There's the co-pilot wandering through. and then it was time to find another remote camp for the night. Here's to a, another roadside uh, stop on the Nullarbor. Camped in the bush. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> another beautiful sunset on the road. After a very restful night, it was time to do the last leg to Norseman. Here we are at the beginning of the longest, straightest road in Australia. And, and here I it is. Have to drive it. Yep, Anne's volunteered to uh, do the 146 k's. Oh, I volunteered, did I? Yeah, you volunteered. I think I volunteered you. Here's Anne doing her volunteer work. Oh, she's a trooper. <laughs> Got plenty of 
one of your road trains again? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. This is our fourth trip across the Nullarbor and by far the most enjoyable because we took our time, five days all up, and uh, spent time enjoying the countryside. Total cost of fuel was just over $900. Our average fuel consumption across the Nullarbor ranged from uh, just over 20 litres to 24 litres per 100 k's. Thanks for watching, we hope you've enjoyed our uh, trip across the Nullarbor. We hope to bring you another episode soon. And that's all folks. <laughs>